Sada pit viper in ambush. The second one of the night. The snakes are definitely on the move now. Oh, that is a frog and a half. Welcome to Mount Kinabalu, the highest mountain in Borneo with an altitude of over 4,000 meters. Unlike the lowlands where we just came from, this area sees significantly colder temperatures and a completely different array of species. The montane forests in this area are home to some of the most unique herbs in the world with several endemic species. Our major targets were the Malcolm's Pit Viper and Mossy Bush Frog. We had two nights to look for them and this is how it went. Alright, here we are, starting out on dark. Mount Kinabalu night one, looking for Malcolm's Pit Vipers, the biggest target of the trip. The whole reason we came out here. Super excited, let's see how we go. Torrential rain outside. This is the first rain that has happened for months. This is a blessing. We're going to road cruise for a while until the rain passes, so hopefully we can turn something up on the road. Let's go! Kinabalu horn frog. Rain's got the frogs out. Look at that! Alright, so the first hour has been rain, and now it's sort of subsided a bit. So we're heading out on foot. Feels good. Flipping logs. Have I got the colours on this millipede? That thing's stunning. That is the nicest looking millipede I think I've ever seen. Alright, we found a couple more Kinabalu horn frogs. Now that the rain stopped, I'm going to grab a few photos of them. There's this beautiful red one here. And look at this one here. A darker brown colour with some red flanks on the side. And if you zoom out, they're, they're almost invisible in the leaf litter. The camouflage is insane. And through the day, they just shelter beneath the leaf litter, but they're so unique. This is the endemic horn frog species, but there's three horn frogs around and they're called horn frogs because of those horns that they have on top of their eyes. And um, this is the smallest of the three species up here. There's one very large horn frog that we are hoping to see tonight. We missed out on the, surprisingly, we missed out on the horn frogs in the lowlands. So, I'm very happy that we got one of these because I was really hoping to see a horn frog this trip. And we are going to keep moving after a few quick photos. Sick. You can use this one. You want oh, thank you. you can... Yeah. I'll just get an in situ video. Look at that. First snake of the night. Sather yeah. pit viper in ambush on this metal pole here. How good is that? Alright, so we brought that Sabah pit viper out for a look. So this is one of three species of pit viper found up here in Mount Kinabalu. And this is easily the most common, but they often get overlooked because they share the habitat with the Malcolm's Pit Viper, which is just everyone, it's the main attraction up here, but the Sabah Pit Vipers are actually stunning. This is one of the most vibrantly colored green vipers that I've ever seen. And I was really hoping to see this species. They've got the beautiful red eyes. They've got those red tails. They're an awesome snake. And he was just sitting out in ambush in the rain. That is so cool. Despite being common, they're just, you can't come up to Mount Kinabalu without seeing a Sabah Pit Viper. They're also called Sabah Bamboo Pit Vipers as well. But this is the third out of six Bornean Vipers that we've seen this trip. So we've still got three left. We're going to let her go. A little family of sleeping birds. Escaping the rain underneath this big fern bed. I'm not actually sure what species I'm looking at here, but we have got a glowing little dragon sitting on this tree branch here. I am going to have to check the ID and chuck it on screen. Whatever it is, I suspect it's a juvenile because it's got a little bobble head. Very cute, but yeah, 
another find for the night. Probably going to be the last find for the night as well. All right, going for a morning walk this morning along this river to see what we can find. Hopefully looking for a keelback, but we'll see what's out. We may see nothing, it's very likely. And if that's the case, then we'll just see you tonight. All right, we found nothing today. So here we are again, Mount Kinabali, waiting for it to get dark before we kick off the night. We'll see you when we get out there. Never. My first snake I spotted. Eagle Eye Amber spotted the first snake of the night. I have no idea how. In this fern bank here. I can't even really see it from here. But if you come in close, there is another Saba Pit Viper. The first one for the night. I have no idea how you spotted that. It's a, another beautiful Saba Pit Viper. Primaris or Sabah, he's got a little bit of pill on him. I'm gonna get him out. He was doing the tail wag before as well. And you know a snake wants to bite you when it does the tail wag. Very underrated vipers, but we are gonna keep going because we're on a mission tonight. Having a look at the Sabah. Is that another endemic Kinabalu bento gecko? Cetodactylus baluensis. Real common up here, but they're an endemic species, they're always great to see. It's probably no doubt what the vipers will be smashing. Oh, look at that. That is a green bush frog, and that is a sick looking frog. Oh, that is awesome. This is in the same genus as the mossy bush frog, which is our biggest frog target. That is an awesome looking frog. All right, so here's some footage of a different green bush frog that we found later that night. And you can see it's got some great camouflage, but you can't see it in this clip. These are such a cool frog and they actually have no tadpole stage. So the frogs lay eggs in the trees and they just hatch out into frogs. Which just makes them so different to a lot of other frogs, especially Australian species. It, Jess is busy road cruising, but just up here is the sub of a pit viper that we found yesterday. While road cruising. Sabahai. Second one of the night. This one's waiting in ambush. Nice, that's a good sight. Little Kinabali horn frog on the road. First one of these for the night. Borneo endemic steganotus. That's sick. That's a pretty big one. They're like a they're like a giant slady grey. We've calmed down this steganotus borneensis. I don't actually know what their common name is. Honestly, they're pretty much identical to the slady grey snakes that we have back home. But the only difference is that this thing doesn't bite everything that it touches it hasn't masked and it's not just a chaotic mess this is actually a, a snake that's reasonable to work with which is a massive change to the steganotus we have back home but yeah this is a big surprise tonight looking for green vipers all night and i just happened to look down and spot this big steganotus stretch out and it's actually massive for a steganotus too nice and fat no doubt it's been smashing Kinabalu horn frogs that are everywhere here. All right, we've got another steganotus here. I don't think they bite. All righty, the snakes are def Oh, he's biting me. <laughs> the snakes are definitely on the move now. This is the second steganotus in about 10 minutes. So that's pretty awesome. This one's a bit smaller than the last. It's a good sign that the snakes are moving. It's good to break it up a bit and get something different to the Sabah pit vipers tonight because we're and we're now five snakes deep but we're gonna release this one and keep going. Sick! Oh that is a frog and a half. Okay 
We just took a few photos to this beautiful mossy bush frog. I would go as far as to say this was my number one frog target for the entire trip. And it has lived up to its expectation. Look at how stunning this frog is. This is probably one of the most beautiful frogs that I've ever seen. And it, it, its camouflage is so good as well. You can see if I step back, you would not even see it. The green on the on the body, the green and the brown, and the t even the texture of it just matches the moss. They're insane looking montane frog. Found in Malaysia, Borneo, and maybe Indonesia as well. I'm not too sure, but this has made up for not finding a Malcolm. This is probably the coolest frog that I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, so it is now 2 a.m. And it looks like the Malcolm's Pit Vipers have defeated us this trip, unfortunately. But we still had a good couple of nights with a few cool species. The mossy bush frog was by far the biggest highlight. That was awesome. So this is the last of the Borneo herping videos before we get into the Thailand leg of the trip. So hopefully you enjoyed them and stay tuned for the Thailand herping. Mm.